Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Hill, our Seven channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me today, and he's going to be reading a prophecy. You can join me in the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm in Zechariah uh, chapter 8. I'm going to be re reading 11 to 18, and the title of this passage is Jerusalem, Ho Holy City of the Future. But now I will not treat the remnant of this people as in the former days, says the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give its fruit, the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their dew. I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these, and it shall come to pass that just as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, that I will save you and you shall be a blessing. Do not fear, let your hands be strong, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, just as I determined to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord of hosts, I would not relent. So again, in these days, I am determined to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Do not fear. These are the things you shall do. Speak each man the truth to his neighbor. Give judgment in your gates for truth, justice, and peace. Let none of you think evil in your heart against your neighbor. And do not love a false oath. For all these th things that I hate, says the Lord. Then when the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, The fast of the fourth month, the fast of the fifth, the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth, shall be joy and gladness and cheerful feasts for the house of Judah. Therefore, love, truth, and peace. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I have this word. I got it on September 3rd, 2012. I shall prepare thee for the day of truth. Shall the innocent not find favor in my house? I welcome the humble of heart. Does evil not hide from my glory? What began as faith shall end with your redemption. Let us step forward now to fight the battle. The day nears when all shall be counted. All shall tremble in that great and terrible day of the Lord. Does wisdom look for direction? Shall the peace of my spirit not rest in my children's hearts? Remain vigilant for deception surrounds thee. I shall remove its mask for all to see. I shall speak of the time of deliverance. I shall speak of its way. I shall come forward as the light of truth. This light shall shine like no other. What darkness has hidden this light shall reveal. I created or order. I give all things their purpose. I give time its relevance. Truth remains elusive for those whose eyes remain closed. Shall my harvest not begin in earnest? Shall those who have toiled in the field of righteousness not be rewarded? Let those who speak the truth not waver, for I am with them. Shall I not offer thee now the peace of my spirit? Open thy heart and call upon thee now, for I await thee with open arms. Amen. That's a great message, uh, edifying message. And what the Lord kept putting on me when I was reading this, it's this part here, it's mentioned twice, and it's talking about the peace of His Spirit. And what the Lord had, in other words, given me when I was praying on this, is that no matter what you see uh, that's going to go on from now forward, you will have His peace, no matter what you see. So just... You can just count on the Lord uh, as your Savior and your Messiah that no matter what it is and how troubling or disturbing it is, that whatever you're going to see, you will have the peace of His Spirit. So call on Him now. 
uh, repent and be baptized in Jesus name you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd 2015 Yom Kippur Day of Atonement thank you brother Dan lovely message thank you Lord that we're still on here and able to give these messages amen Shalom